Spoiled sister says if I can't knock her, she doesn't have to do the dishes. Unfortunately, I have to stop it right there for YouTube guidelines, but you will not believe what happens next. Hit the like button and stay tuned. Yo, what is good, y'all? I'm JR. I'm JR, and I'm back again with another video. But before we get into the video, man, I need y'all to go ahead and cop some merch, okay? Go and check it out. Link in description, man. And I will be shouting you out in an upcoming video if you purchase the merch and send me a story on Instagram. And with that said, follow me on the gram and subscribe to the second channel where I'm posting some goodies for y'all, okay? And with that said, let's get into the video. If women are stronger than men, then why the f are we allowed to hit them? The amount of people that are pissed at this video. Yeah, he's definitely gonna start a riot with this one. It's fing hilarious. You think? <laughs> Do you really think that's hilarious? But let's hear what Drew has to say. Okay, let's see if you still find it hilarious after this one. <laughs> This kind of argument really never makes any fucking sense. First of all, you're not allowed to hit anybody. That's true. But if you read between the lines of what he said, you can deduce that he means why is it looked down upon or frowned upon for a guy to hit a girl. He could have reworded the question, but he asked it that way to get a viral response. You guys know that, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's typically frowned upon for men to hit women for obvious reasons. But legally speaking, you're not allowed to hit anybody. It doesn't really matter the gender. And listen, bro, I don't know what you fucking look like, but you look like a popsicle stick come to life. <laughs> so I don't think you should be threatening to hit anybody, to be honest. But as I was saying earlier, this weird obsession that misogynists have with getting to hit women, bro, check yourself into a fucking hospital. <laughs> Go get fucking therapy. When women say, listen, don't treat me like garbage, cool? And you're like, okay, nice. Come over here so I can punch you in the fucking face. You need help. You need help. <laughs> Not only that, but this fucking bullshit ass, you gave me exactly what I wanted. You gave me what I wanted. You wanted attention for being a fucking bitch? <laughs> That's weird, but okay. Also, just a side note, are you being held hostage? Where are you? In a basement? <laughs> Why do you never blink in your videos? You look like the peanut butter baby, but no peanut butter. <laughs> you All right, I would say though, she lost me, but she is funny though, and I can see why a lot of girls follow her because she makes them feel good and people will subscribe to something that makes them feel good but she really makes no sense i don't know what she was talking about she started off good but then she just lost me so instead of attacking the points and the questions that he asked she just started attacking his like character she started roasting him it's funny but it really doesn't get you anywhere <laughs> so let's hear what this other person has to say women are stronger than men then why the fuck aren't we allowed to hit them so let's not talk about fighting when you look like you could fit in my pocket <laughs> Especially because I have shoes that are older than you. See, right off the bat, they're just roasting him, bro. Let's see if she actually talks about the argument. Every time we talk about women's rights, you want to know why you can't hit us. But you're not allowed to hit anyone. Problem is, you're just not as enthusiastic about hitting men because you know you won't win. And if you need to hit a five-foot-tall girl to feel like a man, then you probably need to reevaluate yourself. But if you want to talk about strength, let's do that. Because women can run entire households while shedding the lining of their uterus. Meanwhile, you can't peel yourself off the couch when you have a cold. She's got blood running down her leg and you can't handle a runny nose. We are not the same. Have you ever had a yeast infection? Because I'd love to see you work a 9-to-5 okay, job okay, when you're... Okay, okay, I gotta stop it right there. What is she talking about? She just went on a whole ass tangent. That is not what we're talking about here. Why, why can't they actually just talk about the argument? Like, explain why is it frowned upon for a guy to hit a girl? But just talk... She's talking about yeast infections. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Women are stronger than men. Then why the fuck are we allowed to hit them? It gets worse, and I hope you fucking hurt. Now, what's the... Thing. The reason why you can't hit a woman isn't for our protection. It's for yours. What in the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When was the last time you saw a woman lose to a man in a movie? I'll wait. I think as a society, we've forgotten just how incredibly strong and capable of violence a grown man is. I mean, that's where that unspoken baseline of respect comes from amongst men. I may hate Joe Schmo over there. I may hate his guts, but I have to have some level of respect for him solely based on the fact that if he wanted to hurt me that bad, 
He could. But in the past couple decades, women have been taught to blatantly disregard this. Which is why you see women slapping men that have 200 plus pounds on them. What are you thinking? And they walk off thinking they're so bad. Like thinking they did something. I wouldn't do that to a man who had 50 pounds on me without accepting the possibility that I might get messed up. We gotta start respecting the physicality of men again. Cause by blatantly disregarding it, we're putting females in danger. That is so true. I could not have said it better myself. And a lot of women are in lead roles nowadays and I have no issues with it. Like for example, the Black Panther movie. I love that movie, you know what I'm saying? It was a great movie, but the men were pretty much nowhere to be found. It was mainly women in that movie. I love the fact that more women are stepping up into lead roles, but it is kind of weird for you have the woman stepping up and just completely eradicate the men. Like, we need a balance. You know what I'm saying? We can't only have women in the lead roles and the men just act like dumbasses. We gotta have some sort of balance in these movies. How much do you squat, bench, and deadlift? Squat, I could do 275. Damn, that's pretty good. Bench, I'm at 155. 155, damn. She's strong. So I lift him at 375. That's pretty impressive. How long have you been lifting for? Consistently a year and a half, but I've been in fitness my whole life. So when you're looking at a guy, does he have to be stronger than you? Or is it okay if he's, uh, I guess, weaker than you? It's okay if he's weaker. You're pretty strong. I know. It's not like I'm going to fucking toss him around in bed. Like, honestly, I really don't care. Like, if you're into fitness, it helps. Because, like, I do, like, work here and I work out here. So it's, like, a lot that I talk about. So if you can't understand what I'm saying, it kind of sucks. But, like, I could also explain it to you and then you'll know what it is. So it doesn't really matter to me personally. Do you prefer a physique that's, like, nice and bulky or more of, like, a shredded look? Both. both. You can't have both. Nah, you gotta pick one. Nah, you can't have both in a year. Why not? In a year, you can. Okay, imagine it's summertime. I'm Okay, and if you had to pick only one? Uh, I don't know. Please, just pick one. I'm lean. So if you're lean, you're golden. <laughs> yeah, so she just said all that to basically say she wants a guy that's fit and that's in the gym just like her. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that girl is pretty, she's pretty strong though. Like, I, I don't know my max bench. I could do 15 reps straight of 155. But I don't know my max yet because I'm, I'm testing my max. Spoiled sister right, says if I can't knock her, she ready? doesn't have yeah. to do the dishes. Yeah. Dishes it is. Hey, no way she flew like that, bro. Did you see the way she just flew from that punch? That's some Dragon Ball Z type shit. Y'all saw that? Dishes it is. Look at it. How did she fly like that, bro? <laughs> Yo. Bro, that, it, it gotta be edited, bro. Dishes. Dish, dishes. All right, let's take this frame by frame. Shit, okay, I like I'm 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 watching this frame by frame on my editing software and it doesn't look edited bro. I didn't see any cuts. That's crazy. How did she fly like that? <laughs> For sitting at the what, thing, did I, did eating I, our I, drinking I, our bubble tea or whatever, you weren't saying all that. You came, you came with no makeup. Yo, I was being respectful. I came with no makeup? You came? I can show you my IG right now. So pretty much this girl is getting mad because the guy was being honest with her and roasting her. So she wanted to expose him for some shit that she knew he didn't lie about. I don't, I don't, I didn't ask. I can show you right now. What's up? What's up? Yo, regardless at the end of the day, I show you, right you asked for my Instagram. So I, it wasn't like I wanted you. Okay, you wanted me. Okay. You wanted him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't hold on, want hold on. you. Hold on, hold on. Don't make it, don't make I it. I didn't want hold on. you. Don't make it look like I was trying to, oh, I was trying to get on you. Okay, I'm not your test. Why'd you ask for my Instagram? Why'd you ask for the Instagram? Why'd you ask for the Instagram though? Why'd you ask for the Instagram? didn't even ask for your Instagram. So you lying? No. Oh. <laughs> a few moments later. Did she or did she not ask for the Instagram? She did ask for the Instagram. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> you lied. You lied. You lied. You lied. You lied. You lied. She definitely won't be friends with that girl anymore. She just got exposed, bro. Damn, it'd be your own friend exposing you. Students who've got teachers. Story. Well, I was 17 at the time. Not sure how old she was, but I would guess early 30s. I would visit her just to say hello because she was friendly. I go down there one afternoon and say hello and chat a little and after a while she asked me how my dating life is going. One afternoon I go to visit and she asked me, How come you have so much time to visit me? A few weeks go by and I'm walking home as a car pulls up nearby and she leans her head out the window and asks if I need a lift. I say sure. Why not? We begin to drive and she says I just need to drop some things off at my apartment. Is that okay? We get to her apartment and she says I can wait on the couch. She comes back from some room and looks at me in a way I've never seen her and says, 
You know out of all the students I talk to. I'm the most comfortable with you. She puts her hand on the back of my head. While this entire time I'm frozen. I don't know what to do. What to say? Nothing. She tells me to relax grabs my hand leads me to her bedroom and well. The rest is history. The comments of this video, I, I saw a lot of people saying my guy was a victim. But what 17 year old boy does not want to have sex with their hot teacher, bro? A hot teacher? Bro, when I was in high school and we had this gym teacher, she was like 28 and she was fine. We all wanted to have sex with her, bro. Take me home. Take me in your car. You know what I'm saying? I want that. <laughs> Why are you attracted yeah, to tall men? Yeah, why are you men? attracted to tall men? You can't control what you're attracted to. In the same way that men are attracted to women with a low body count. I got him. But okay, why do you <laughs> like... <laughs> you can't control. It's, it's not the same thing, control. but Well, the, I think one of them stands. stems from like a fundamental thing, and then the other one just body is like count? biology. Wait, what, I think which one, biology. which one is which? No, yes. I don't agree. I think one is a social construct, and the other is a physical trait. Back in the old days, you'd have no way of knowing if the child is yours, if the woman is just sleeping around. So that's why if a woman has one body, you will know that is your child. You know that's your son or your daughter because you know your woman has only been sleeping with you. So that was a way to ensure paternity. The more dicks a woman get, the harder it's gonna be for her to actually bond in a relationship. And I also think it's the same thing for guys too. Like if I'm out here just slanging pee pee, slanging dick, and then I meet this one girl that I really love, it's gonna be hard for me to stay loyal to that one girl. Since I've been slanging dick, I have no restraint, no discipline. So when I'm in this relationship without discipline, I'm gonna wanna slang some more dick, regardless of the relationship. Nobody cares that you're gay, it's cause you're extra all the time. You be doing the most every day, it's like a goddamn theater production, like fucking relax, be a normal human. You know what I'm saying? You throwing glitter in the air, spinning in circles and shit. We are in Burger King. Sit down and eat your nuggets, nigga. Eat your nuggets. Just eat your nuggets. And eat them regular. We all eating like this. You dipping like this and shit. Nobody eats like that. Nobody eats like that. Not men, not women, nobody. Stop it. You look like a fucking idiot. I have no problems with gay people, but it's just when you're really flamboyant and they feel the need to post up at a party, put your feet up on the wall and start twerking, man. I remember when I was at this college party back in my college days, this linebacker looking dude, big, chubby, but he was super gay and you act like a girl, right? At every party, he would be up in there on the dance floor with his feet up on the wall twerking. I was like, you gotta do this shit every party, bro? Come on, man, I don't wanna see that. Nobody wants to see that. He will always put his foot up on the wall twerking, just twerking and twerking, bro. It just makes me leave the dance floor and go somewhere else and drink my sorrows away. <laughs> There's a lot of gay people that you wouldn't even know that they're gay, man. They just act normal. But it's just the flamboyant people that's like, damn, you gotta be like fruity with everything. <laughs> I ain't got no kids. I got I got my own mo motion going on. Flag. Huh? What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. What did you about to say? Why the? Let's see. I know, like, having sex before marriage is bad, but it's 2022. Like, what has gone on in your life that you have not had a kid? I don't have kids. You're different. Like, but for men, it's just kind of like, why don't you have a kid? What happens? Because I don't. There? I don't want a kid yet. Maybe I'm responsible. I'm responsible. What are you? It's huh? not responsible. Like, especially if a nigga's like mad. <laughs> I'm 30 years old, grinding. Stacking this money up and because I don't have any kids or no baby mamas. I'm a red flag That is some backwards ass thinking right there. Like what the fuck? So me having multiple baby mamas is a green flag to you That's why the black community is where it's at right now, bro. This shit is crazy What's your biggest flex? That we can shake this ass That's all as you bring to the table? Yeah So when a motherfucker look forward to dating you, that's all you got to say? Yup Wow yeah, guys, this is why I don't take girls I don't meet at a club too seriously. Because imagine me taking care of you in a relationship, and all you got to offer is some ass. You don't know nothing else. But at the same time, I can't blame them because a lot of these girls didn't have good role models. Actually, a lot of us don't have good role models to show us the healthy way to be in a relationship. Our role models are fucking Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. Those are the role models. And role models for the men, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, all the Lils, you know what I'm saying? So we don't know how to operate in a healthy relationship. Cause you got girls that want to be in a good relationship, but at the same time, go to the club and shake ass every night. How's that gonna work? You gotta decide which one you want. You want the single life or you want the relationship life? You can't have both. 
You know what I'm saying? You owe it to your partner to give them the best version of yourself to have a healthy relationship. That's all I gotta say. It goes both ways. Are you smart? Me? Yeah. I graduated engineering degree. Oh, oh shit. Here we go again. I have a okay. master's degree. Well, that talks enough. All right, here we go. If you was born five years ago today, how old would you be? How old would I be? Mm -hmm. 23, so I'd be like 18. Okay. Wait, repeat the question. If you was born five years ago today, how old would you be? Five years old. Oh, no. <laughs> Just because you went to school and have an engineering degree does not mean you are smart. School work doesn't equate to IQ and being smart. Anybody can do well in school. All you gotta do is just do the work. What is a woman? Mm. Yeah. Great uh, question. Well, I'm not a woman, so I, <laughs> I can't really answer that. What exactly is a woman? Well, it's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. I can wake up one day and identify as a woman and get in the clubs for free and start using the women's bathrooms, start buying tampons, and start our OnlyFans and make $100,000 a month because I now identify as a bad bitch. And you can't tell me nothing. I'm a bad bitch. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. I but just but what is that? As a woman. <laughs> you're not a scientist. You're not a gender studies major. No. no? Okay. How do you know that you're a man? I, I guess because I got a dick. <laughs> And shout out to the old man for actually saying something sensible. This is how people end up on the news. Like, you cannot play about this stuff. People literally lose their life over things like this. Like, this, this is not even a joke. Because I'm saying this for your safety. And this right here is a daily reminder of why you need to get in the gym. If they ever put on the cha-cha slide and they said, hands on your knees, hands on your knees, he can't because his stomach is occupying the area. This man look like he's melting. Are there any bones in his body? I've never seen a fat man make a fat lady look skinny. So this is ridiculous. Yo. They ordered 10 boxes of pizza. What are you ordering pizza for? So this got to be some form of attempted suicide. Like, where is the government when you need them? They need to regulate big people from buying this kind the food because they killing themselves this is ridiculous all right bro this man violated with every sentence man like why it gets so fat to the point you can't walk that is a disease you probably have a deep-rooted trauma that you're trying to use food to cover up and who wants to live like that for the rest of their lives bro who wants to be bedridden can barely walk can't even see your toes so get in the gym guys live a healthy lifestyle and ignore this bullshit that you're trying to promote oh it's okay to be fat it's okay to barely be able to walk it's okay to be bedridden it's okay to be depressed fuck all of that man healthy lifestyle and with that said i'll see you on the next video it was about the sex on a bed the sex by the beach the sex on repeat if it wasn't for the sex i would leave you got me on the leash cause you ain't had no value to me